welcome back to my channel. I'm Anya from Here's Affairs, if this is your first time here. This week I have another cool and very simple hair tutorial for you guys. I call it the Peekaboo French Braid and I think it's a very cool way to spice up a classic French braid and make it a little bit more edgy. If you're interested, keep on watching and please don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it and subscribe so I can see you next time. Let's go ahead and begin. I start by parting off a section about 2 inches wide through the middle in the back and then I secure the rest of the hair away. And then I take a little section on the top of my head and divide it into 3 strands. I cross the outer strands under the middle one. Each time I cross the outer strand under the middle, I pick up a new section of hair on the same side and I also cross it under and merge it with that strand. You can also pick up a new section of hair and merge it with the outer strand before you cross it under. It's a matter of personal preference. bone and I tie the braid off with a clear elastic. So now I pick up some hair from the front like I would with a normal French braid, just a little bit lower than usual and the ponytail from the braid is going to be the middle strand. So I cross the outer strands over the middle one this time and I'm going to add in new sections of hair to the outer strands and cross them over as well. I'm picking up good chunks of hair, there's no point of adding in tiny sections. You can of course do as you like, but I think it's better if this braid is nice and loose and kind of bigger so that it contrasts with the little peekaboo braid that we've got going on there. So I ended up just adding in new sections of hair twice from each side and that's it. And then I pull the braid apart even further to make it nice and loose. And if you want you can also pull out some hair in the front so you have some nice face framing layers. I chose to curl mine with a big curling wand and this is the finished look, I hope you like it. That is it for this time, thank you so much for watching and for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you found it helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Of course if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time, bye!